my crafty friends. It's Jelly Bean again. And I have another Happy Meal here. And this one is from Leticia. Leticia, I will be mailing your package this week. And I'm going to do a project share of what I made you. You are welcome to watch if you want to. If you want to be surprised, you don't have to. But um, hurting my rib kind of slowed me down. And I didn't get things done as quick as I wanted to. So, anyway. Um, this is what Leticia sent me. I've just opened up the box to save a little bit of time and noise. But, um, oh wow. It's stuck on something. What is it hung on? Oh, the box. What is this? Oh, there's a note. Wow, look at this pretty fabric, y'all. Oh. Okay, so this is something that she made. Oh, look at this. Oh, she put my name on there. Isn't this pretty? Oh, Leticia, this is going on my wall. Thank you. Wow, look. She's got little tea tiny flowers. I love little tiny flowers. She's got little tea tiny flowers. And she knows my favorite color is purple, y'all. Can you see that? <laughs> She's got some little tiny flowers that she's made, and she gilded the edges. She's got a little bit of gold on there, and she put gold centers. She's written out my name and colored it in. She's got some butterflies here. She knows I like butterflies, too. So she has made some beautiful butterflies here, and she's doubled them up. They got a little mashed in the shipping, so but they are dimensional I'm trying to pull them up so everyone can see because they are beautiful Leticia you said you're a beginner this is gorgeous you did so well look at there she layered up her butterflies so they're dimensional make sure you can see there we go see how she did that and she's got this really pretty purple trim at the bottom on top of some lace. And she she hand colored in my name, y'all. She did that with some gold and it is gorgeous. And she made this little tassel here on the side to match with the ribbon and the little purple flower. She doubled that one up and put the gold. Can y'all see these little tiny flowers she made? Aren't those just precious? Those are so pretty. I love it. This is going on my wall. And then she sent this gorgeous fabric. Oh. Leticia, did you make this? Oh my goodness. Look, y'all. It's a, a doll. Looks like a Mexican doll. Isn't it beautiful? I think she made this, y'all. It is sewn and the legs move and the aunt and she's made the dress isn't that gorgeous look at that and all the hair's been sewn on i hope y'all can see this really good because this is gorgeous i'm gonna give you a really good close-up here so you can see wow Leticia is very crafty, y'all. She can do more than just paper crafts. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? All the ribbons and the dresses hand sewn on. Isn't look, y'all have to see this. Look, it is handcrafted. I'm sorry for the shaking, y'all. <laughs> She's hand sewn all the pieces together and sewn them together so that it's jointed and it moves wow this is gorgeous wow i just don't know what to say but this is going to be a permanent fixture on my crafting area so i can look at her every day 
You know what? Her name's gonna be Leticia. And when I need to talk to somebody, she's gonna be sitting right there. <laughs> so, I'm gonna put Leticia over here in my crafty area so she can sit here and watch me craft and I can look at her. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Wow. Wow. You know, when I was... This really means a lot, Leticia. When I was about 10 years old, my mother handmade me a small doll like this. And it was a Corella doll. And she'll remember this because she made me, it was about this size. It was a little doll. And I loved that doll. I carried it everywhere. She hand sewn it just like this. And I carried it everywhere. And one day my little dolly was sleeping i had her laying on the step in her little bed just like this i made her a little bed and i covered her up and she was sleeping and we had got a new dog and my and the new dog thought my baby was a toy and she took my baby and went and run through the yard with it and got it all muddy and tore one of the limbs off i don't remember if it was the arm or leg or what but um my mom sewed it back on, but from then on out, it was dirty, and it had mud all over it. We tried to wash it, but it stained it, because we lived in North Carolina at that time, and the the dirt is red clay, and it doesn't come out that well. <laughs> so, my little Corella doll was all messed up, but I kept her forever, even though she was messed up. But this reminds me so much of my little Corella doll. She just sits in your hand just like she did. And that's what I liked about her so much. She just sat right in your hand. And Leticia, this is very special. And I am so grateful. Thank you. Thank you so much. I will keep her and cherish her forever. My Leticia baby. So, thank you. And I love this gorgeous, gorgeous fab. Um... Leticia really just creates with her heart. She is very, very special. And, you know, creating with your heart is, when you do that, it makes everything just so beautiful. And she creates with her heart, and she does an awesome job. And I could never thank her enough. This gorgeous fabric is some of what she used for the doll's little shirt. Isn't that cool? She sent some of the same fabric as my little dolly has. But this is very special, and I am so, so appreciative. Thank you so much, Leticia. And I have found out that Leticia has a Facebook um I don't know if it's a group or a blog, a page, something like that, but she sent me the link, and I'm going to link it below where she shows her craft crafting and stuff like that, so y'all go check her out there. I know she doesn't do videos, but we can go talk to her on her page and, you know, see her, her crafts and stuff there, so let's all go show her some love over there. And you can definitely tell she put a lot of love here. Thank you, Leticia. Very, very special. Uh, it's really too pretty to use. I'm going to have to do something with it that can be displayed. But that is gorgeous. Thank you so much. And I love the doll. I really, really do. You don't know how much. It's, it's really, really special. Thank you so much, and I will be getting your package out hopefully by the end of this week. With my grandson being homesick now, I had to pick him up yesterday, and he's home today, but he can't go back to school until he's fever-free for 24 hours, so he may not go back tomorrow either because he's still running a little bit of a fever, so we'll see what happens, but I will send you tracking once I get it out, and again thank you this was my birthday present she sent me i forgot to mention that but um this was for my birthday and thank you so much i 
what I'm sending you doesn't compare to this. This is really special. Thank you so much. And thank everyone for watching. I know Leticia doesn't do videos and everything, but she shows her pretty crafty stuff on Facebook sometimes, and she's just signed up for Instagram, so y'all go follow her on Instagram. I'm sure she'll be showing some pretty stuff on there, too. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a crafty day. Bye for now.